Hello everyone, my name is Mahek Gidwani. Hello everyone, my name is Himeshika Samar Divakar. Uh, I'm born and raised in Hong Kong, but I'm ethnically Sri Lankan and I'm a sales and marketing executive. I'm Indian, born and raised in Hong Kong. I've lived here for most of my life. Uh, today, I work as an addiction recovery coach and a yoga teacher. So I started using drugs at 12, almost by accident. Over the next few years, I continued to have experiences like that with other substances. And eventually it became something that I could connect with people over. Later on, when I was about 17, 18, 19, the drugs, they stopped giving me the relief that they once did. And I ended up smoking round the clock. I was smoking before school, I was smoking during school, I was smoking after school. And it got to the point where when I wasn't using it, I was, I was filled with anxiety, paranoia. I couldn't sleep without it. I ended up failing my first year of university and my parents caught on. Once my parents found out, we, they spent about a year and a half trying to, trying to get me help, trying to convince me to go to rehab. We went to therapists for interventions. My dad and my sister, they dropped me off at a treatment center and I was scared. I was scared to be there alone. Today, it feels like the, the biggest gift. And today I'm so grateful uh, for that moment and the change that came after it. The first time I had a panic attack, it was when I was in university. Ooh. And I thought it was just, you know, like, oh, you're just nervous, you know, like panic attacks, they don't feel like anything. So it hits you like full blown. And it was um, very scary. It was traumatizing. I was in tears, I was crying. And then like, it happened even more frequently. And then like, I started thinking of ending my life. So that was the hardest part. It's very difficult because, um, and until I attempted the first time, I don't know why, but somehow I feel connected to the ocean. Ooh. And so that's where I first attempted, yeah. I was at a Zubin Foundation meeting for the youth committee. So we were talking about things that people need uh, for ethnic minorities. Ooh. So I was just thinking like mental health got brought up and I was like, okay, that's good. It's Ooh. being brought up. It's very important, right? Like Ooh. mental health is being dismissed so easily. While we were talking about it, I started getting emotional because it was such a touchy subject after what I went through. It's like waves crashing in, you know, but I'm really glad um, Shalini from the Zubin Foundation, she like, she got me a therapist right away. She would insist, her and Gunjali used to insist, they're like, no, skip your class and you'll go to therapy, you'll talk to them. Yeah, I'm really grateful for them for what they did, <laughs> yeah. The next thing, how can you help your kid? So I'm part of a 12-step recovery program that I was introduced to in rehab and I, I still attend I still attend these meetings regularly and they've been a huge part of what's enabled me to stay sober. Uh, we have 12-step meetings in Hong Kong that are all free. Um, we have, you know, a minimum of three meetings a day that you can go to, that you can take your loved one to at any time. You can find their information uh, through the internet. You can send an email, you can make contact. Many EM parents, I think they assume um, going to a therapist is bad. It's like, oh no, she, she's just overthinking, he's just overthinking. No, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine. Hmm. But um, going to a counselor really helps. And in the same time, taking the medications, it, it also helps. The best way is to reach out and especially for parents, especially dads out there, don't be afraid of loving your child, saying I love you, saying that I care for you. It's so mushy for EM parents, but don't worry, you know, like your kid will appreciate it. So a beautiful thing I brought into my recovery more recently is uh, mind-body practices. They've helped me learn tools to quiet my mind, learn tools to get into my breath, 
to get into flow, to get into my body. Um, and it's really helped with recovery. Mm -hmm. So a little advice for everyone, don't be afraid of reaching out. The first step is always the hardest. It's always a struggle, but don't think of yourself as a weak person just because you want help. It can help you on the long run. So talk to someone who cares and who will listen to you. Maybe that's what you need for now. Thank you, I'm Mehek Idwani. Thank you, I'm Himeshika Samaradivakar.